Well, our special guest now is Katie schumacher Collier, who is in her third year as Penn State women's volleyball coach after serving as Russ Rose's top assistant and following successful stints as a head coach at Penn and the University of Illinois Chicago. Her roots run deep as an All-American at Penn State and a member of the 1999 National Championship team. And with football off this weekend, it's a nice time to talk about the other fall sports teams that have been so successful over the years. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thanks for having me. So look, we're going to talk about the women's volleyball team. You already have all these big wins I'm looking at for the, for the year on the road at Tennessee, at Kentucky, a home sweep of Louisville. you got a big invitational this weekend. But, you know, part of the legacy of Penn State athletics has been student athletes who excel in the classroom in athletics and give back. A number of your players fit that mold. Can you tell the viewers the type of things your players have been doing off the court as well as the kind of people they are on the court? Well, I'm, I'm really proud of all of them. They are excellent students. Um, you know, for example, Quinn Menger, my senior captain, she danced in THON last year and, um, you know, she'll be graduating and going to law school. Um, but, you know, the, the team in general, we have a GPA over 3.0 and, um, you know, they, they coach club volleyball uh, for Happy Volley here in town. And they do a lot of things at the elementary schools with reading and, um, you know, I'm proud of the efforts that they they put into this community because they know how special of a place this is. Um, and so they're, uh, yeah, they're they're really good people. Katie, with women's women's sports all across the board, really having a moment right now where it, it, there's so much increased attention and increased exposure and more fan interest. You know, as you look back at your time, what did playing women's sports mean to you and the impact that it had on your life? And what do you see that happening with your own players now? I had the most amazing experience here at Penn State uh, on and off the, the court. And, um, you know, my, my goal is to, you know, continue to make an impact here and to help these players. And, um, you know, the exposure that they're getting is unbelievable. And it's such an exciting time for us at Penn State. And, um, I think for all women's sports, but, you know, I think it's, it's setting them up for success and it's, you know, for them to be able to have contacts and, you know, all these positive relationships through competing, um, but to also see for the future and to, to help them with jobs and um, just give them exposure that they deserve. So coach, it is traditionally a football show and you're no stranger to the sport. Your brother played at Illinois, married to someone who played in college and the NFL. So Look, let's compare and contrast who has the tougher, more competitive athletes in volleyball or football or really some of the traits and characteristics that are really valuable for both sports. No, volleyball for sure. Um, I mean, yeah, I grew up in a football family and I, I, mean, I love football. I, I just think, you know, being a part of something special and being a part of something that's bigger than you and, um, you know, I think just having that family rivalry is great. But, you know, I'll tell you what, my family is all Penn State right now, so it's... Um, I'm lucky to have been around, you know, coaches and other players, um, you know, within my family and, and community that um, are so supportive and, and want to see Penn State Volleyball do well. Well, speaking of that, speaking of doing well, your team's off to a really, really strong start this year. And uh, how do you now, given that strong start and given the excitement and you're up to number three in the polls, how do you keep your team on an even keel when there's an emotional roller coaster that will happen over the season. As you know, there's ups and downs in every volleyball season. How do you really keep them on that even keel? You know, this group really embraces competing and, and challenges. And I'm really proud of the five seniors we have that are leading the way and, um, you know, are excellent role models to the younger players. And, um, you know, we just get back to work. We got back to practice yesterday, and I know the team's excited to be back here in Rec Hall this weekend. And we'll compete, and we'll be ready to go. And, you know, we're, we're getting ready to compete in the best conference. So we're using these matches to get our players ready and to, to see, you know, who else can step up and help. Pretend for a moment I'm the best recruit in the country. <laughs> How are you selling me on Penn State? Come on. You'd come no, don't, we don't give too much away, but go ahead. No, I mean, we've lost maybe a couple players, um, but they didn't take visits. Every About every player um, that we've had on campus has committed here. Um, it's a beautiful place. I think we're surrounded by a lot of good people, and I'm lucky to have the staff I have that, um, you know, it sets us apart. So you would come because you look good in blue. 
real stretch to pretend that he's a great recruit. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the biggest stretch. That's a real stretch. But I do, I do have one additional question because, you know, we're highlighting your team and, your, and your, look, your attributes as a head coach. But you're, you're a heck of an athlete in your own right. You're part of the national championship team. But you had a big night in Chicago, from what I understand, at least reading the bio about, you know, inducted in the Chicagoland Sports Hall of Fame with a lot of really big names. So, you know, what does that kind of honor mean and that, that particular night? And, and, you know, when you get a chance to look back at your own accolades as an athlete, you know, to be so proud of, of those accomplishments. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I love where I grew up in Chicago and I played on a lot of really good teams and was surrounded by a lot of great athletes. And um, yeah, that was a that was a special evening. And, uh, you know, like I said, I, I went to a excellent high school, Mother Macaulay High School, and I played on teams that won back to back championships. But that was because we had so many great players and um, you know, I got into coaching and I think that's why they liked me, but, um, it was, uh, no, it was great. It was great. Chicago's a great place. And, um, you know, that, that will always be a special place for me. Well, coach, thanks so much for the time. We really appreciate it for anybody that can get over and catch some of the invitational this weekend. Vo volleyball invitationals are some of the most fun sporting events you'll ever see. It's just such great, high quality play. Uh, best of luck the rest of the season. We'll keep an eye on the squad. Thanks for having me guys.